<laughs> Currently, we are in the throes of a COVID-19 pandemic, which has generated significant concern around the world, and Africa has not been excluded from this. As, a, as an institution that is committed to building capacity within the health system and working together with the Ministry of Health, we are aware of the International Health Regulations Framework that should guide ministries to make sure we protect our communities from infectious disease threats like COVID. I wanted to mention that working with the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Uganda, we will be conducting trainings next week so that healthcare workers at these border crossings will be able to enhance screening. Um, the additional contribution a freezer's worth 26,000 US dollars, again using funding from Project Resolve to Save Lives. And so I'm very privileged on behalf of the university community to be able to make this hopefully significant contribution that will enhance screening. With the COVID-19, we cannot take chances because people will try to enter the country from any point of entry. And as you have all been asking about these uh, points of entry, today now is your day to see that what we are saying is actually taking place. So the government of Uganda would like to say thank you for the items that we are receiving from IDI that has been funded by Resolve to Save Lives from the U.S. The items will enhance the work of the medical staff deployed to serve at these points of entry. And we wish to acknowledge in a special way the efforts invested in improving the points of entry. would like to commit to a good continued collaboration and partnership in strengthening health security in line with the international health regulations. So allow me to say thank you on behalf of government, on behalf of Ministry of Health, and thank you to all your teams for a job well done, because you have been systematically following and ensuring that we plug in the gaps in the National Action Plan for Health Security. Thank you again. This is what we use at the border points of screening, but also for purposes of handling cases or suspected cases.